so many humans here. Are we are we sure we're all humans here? I think we're all humans here. Right? Good morning, good morning. Shmevelin, 26 months of sub and let's go. Thank you, Shmevelin. Thunder Viking, 21 months of sub and let's go. Let's go. Thank y'all so much. How are y'all doing this fine post podcast? Is it still morning here? It is still morning here where I'm at. I can <laughs> <laughs> Kate's not a robot. Tony is a meat popsicle. That's fair. Whew. Miss G's Crafties, I like your uh, your pen fun emote. That's cool. That is super cool. Oh, how are y'all? I'm always I'm always have to wind down a little bit after uh, after that. So um, we can. That is a fun hat today. So this is the Huntsville Trash Pandas, and. I have to go look and see if they actually exist because they came out, Patrick might know, they came out like two years ago. At, they do? Okay. So they were, they got a season in, I think, as a Dodgers affiliate, then the pandemic hit, but they were just being built um, or being started as a team, new branding, new all that stuff. Um, it was, it won a, it, it's an excellent name. They won a... Um, they won like a newspaper contest. Um, so yeah, Rocket City tra Trash Pandas in Hudsville, Alabama for the space program. So the pandas got like a little rocket tail and they have a bunch of cool logos. They really like minor league baseball makes money through merch. Like the players don't, but the, the minor league uh, businesses do. Um, and they just, they knocked it out of the park with this. I had to have this hat. So there was a bunch of stuff. So I think they got in one season, didn't play didn't play last year like all the other teams so i don't know if they started back last night or not so uh we'll look but yeah rocket city trash pandas it's great so good oh and madison okay suburb of huntsville yes we we know that well <laughs> so yeah um a lot of a lot of hat days on podcast days because i wear the big headphones especially when i need a haircut and have like the big the big podcast poof hair like it would just not go well it would just not go well for me um so post podcast a lot of hats on podcast day tomorrow tomorrow chat this is very important very important tomorrow's stream will be in the afternoon I forgot we're building Lego tomorrow. So we're going to do this starting at 9 a.m. my time, Eastern. Um, we're going to start the build. We should be able to finish it in less than three hours. That's the goal. Um, but yeah, barring kids getting sick. So this will not be on stream. So figure from like 9 till noon I'm doing that. Then I need to grab lunch. Because I will die if I just go straight into a stream after that. But then we, then I'm actually free tomorrow afternoon because my wife's off to stream tomorrow. So say like 1 p.m. Eastern, we'll shoot for like a 1 o'clock start tomorrow. Um, if you're looking for the stream in the morning. So there you go. Astros Yankees game was fun last night. I follow a bunch of Yankees fans on Twitter and it was it was fun to follow the uh the comp the running commentary oh this person's at bat oh this is the chance they're getting and uh it's pretty solid better than i expected <clears throat> oh so you gotta go to the the dentist tomorrow so the then my new schedule works well that's actually why i did it so 2019 rocket city announced that it had sold more than 2 million in merch in just over 13 months since announcing its branding so like when they launched this branding, they hadn't played a game. They hadn't done anything. It's it was a really wild story just on how like the marketing took off. So yeah, they, a bunch of cool logos. Eleven people can get a good F Altuve chant going. Um, Bregman did shove it in them on in in the first or second inning, which was uh, was interesting. But overall, it was it was it was good to see. Like I was for for the razzing. So. Uh, good stuff. Um, podcast follow up. I do have a question for y'all. Um, we talked about one of the Ask TPA questions was, "What's the first thing you write in the morning?" And I was wondering if any of y'all had any morning rich writing rituals slash routines. 
uh, for writing, journaling, planning in the like, I want to say like first a.m. Not like I've been up for two hours a.m. Like first, not I mean like get going a little bit, but like in the first thirty minutes, an hour morning when you're not like totally engaged in work or family or whatever you got to do morning pages now do you follow a set parameter like morning pages five second journal good hat thank you trash pandas in the house I haven't bought many hats recently. I, I like to wear my hats. I don't wear them all the time. You just go into your written out. That makes, I think that kind of makes sense, right? Like, I'm just going to put the, grab the notebook, grab the pen or pencil, just kind of go and kind of gets you to a point where you're, okay, I can start the day now, right? Like, I kind of feel like that's how it would be. <laughs> So far, I write before using my phone in the morning. Like, I feel like that would work well for me because that's the first thing I do. Like, I wake up and I get coffee and I get on my phone and I sit literally for like 20, 30 minutes and help get the kids get ready. But like my kids are old enough to get themselves ready for school and then we leave and go to school. Like that 30 minutes, I could be doing something besides scrolling. Just like a brain dump. Is this all about writing? I mean, it's mostly about writing and pens. Like we talk about pens and writing and notebooks and journaling. Um, I run a blog and a podcast about pens. So yeah, the most of the discussions around that for sure. The artist way sets three pages for morning pages, even if it means being repetitive. However, I haven't started mine. A lot of people have adopted what works for them. Like three pen at three. Are there rules for those three pages or you're just saying you can't do anything you just write three pages like three pages is the the number you hit or is there something planned for that <clears throat> i'm jealous of how your kids can get themselves ready mine not so much yet yeah it's still like the only thing we do now is make tyler a sandwich everything else they get they take care of everything you just write and she says you should keep writing full-blown brain dump I, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to think about how this would work for me. If you see me like phasing out here, first thing I do is wake up, grab my phone and eventually get out of bed. Yeah. Three letter size pages, single spaced. Wow. Five minutes of think about goals with my breakfast time. That's usually theme system time. I'm scrolling back through some of these. I'm trying to get some ideas here. Sleep log, dream log, reflection on mood, waking up, memories that spring to mind usually until I finish my tea. That's a, that's cool. Review my planner to update anything from the night before. Review my habits and what I need to do that day. Oh, I'm avoiding the sticker talk. I don't, yeah, I, I'm with you, Quixotic Fox. I don't follow the rules in that regard because sometimes I'm just done. Yeah. Sometimes, well, like when I think about the rules, like I know the rules aren't working for me. So we're just going to stop now. Thank you. <laughs> so that's kind of what I think about with, that's why I don't have like a traditional, um, like, like page per day planner, right? Because I feel like I have to fill the page per day like the my William Hanna with the the seven days on one side where I could just write down quick notes and reminders that's good because that's not a journal like this is a journal and where I can just write whatever I want I would love to have enough focus to do dream logs planning etc every morning I think that's what we're kind of like like I don't right so I don't do that either and I'm trying to think like is there a way or a time or what I what would I use that time for and I think it's just would be like a balance of off screen time to start the day would be nice. I mean, like coffee's always first, like, and, and I get up early, right? Like 6.30 every day, pretty much weekdays, seven on the weekends, kind of, cause I'm already, I'm just built that way. Like my alarm's for 6.30 during the week. So I usually don't have to be the house, out the house to like 7.20. So I've got time. Yeah, just do it. I'm having decent luck with the Lloyd's term five year because it's such limited space. I'd never realized 
how cool those long-term journals were set up. I always thought it was like, oh my God, it's like a journal entry for every day, but it's like four lines. Like that's pretty smart. And then it's like the way it's segmented out to where each page is, you know, um, May the 5th, you know, 2021, 2022, 23, 24, 25. And then next page is May the 6th in those years. So you see what you wrote the previous years. I had no idea they were set up that way. And that's just, I was dumb because that's smart. <laughs> that's the smart way. That's the smart way to set up. I don't think that would work for me. Um, but I think I, those are a way cool thing. Like if you, if you can get into that habit, that's a very reasonable thing. It's, it's less intimidating than I thought it would be is, is I guess my point here. <clears throat> I'm having decent luck with the look. Oh yeah. I just read that. First I get coffee on non pin. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, uh, West coast gratitude list, rock your handwriting, health journal. I have not been doing my meditation, y'all. I am so much better when I do just a 10-minute meditation every day. I'm, I feel terrible that I, I, like, I think about it doing, like, Brad, it's just 10 minutes. I yell at myself. I that's I need, I need to get back doing it. I use a panel book as an agenda journal. Check that in the morning. Remind me what's up. Really very little writing, though. Like, I think that, that's good, though. Like, it's um, it's a brain kickstart, right? <laughs> I have some some lines a day and it's amazing. Yeah, exactly. That's those. It's really it's really smart. Like, and I didn't get that. I didn't understand that at first. P mommy, thanks for the follow. Yeah, the meditation thing. It legitimately helps. Might do a five year with three years of college and the first year out. That would be super smart. I would. I would that would be good. Oh, you have books of stickers that you don't use that are refused to toss because of how much they cost. You're in the right place for sure. What's up, Brooks? I really like Melody Beatty books. They've been a big help. I'm not familiar with her. I will write that down. I do have a new book on the way. I finished the first, I finished the Robert Lennon short stories book. I'm going to read Subdivisions next. It's a Robert Lennon, J. Robert Lennon book. And then the next book I ordered, I forget the title, but it's about um, black farmers in the U.S. I heard I heard the uh, author on the Dave Chang show. She sounded amazing. Work as usual casting. I was casting too. It was just a different type of ca casting. But I was totally casting. All right, Melly, I got to write this down. Actually, you know what? That does need to go on my book list. I, I will lose it if I write in here. Trying to find a new notebook to be my next journal. Any rec recommendations? I've been eyeing a stylology. I love how those stylologies are built. Like, I think they're built well. Um, I haven't used one for, like, a long-term thing, but I think it would probably do pretty well. They're certainly well-respected. Like, I wouldn't turn that down. Like, I would I would say that's a good. Like, and have you used Midori? Like, I don't know how, what type of setup you're, you're wanting, just like a general, I mean, always Masubi. Uh, oh, book list. Sorry, I do put, I do put my media stuff digitally, like for like watch list, listen list, book list, because I will use that. <laughs> Yeah, just a general journal. Stalogy's pretty good. I obviously like Midori. Um, Mormon Gliffy. <laughs> 60 GSM. I haven't tested those yet, chat. They're still sitting back here behind the desk. <clears throat> I feel like Melody's books are a good read for everyone. Okay, I just jotted it down. Yeah, so morning pages, meditation are the habits I'm not doing right now. And I'm wondering um, where I fall into that.
those could actually, I have the time to like to actually combine those things. I think if I meditated in the morning, I just fall asleep though. <laughs> Sounds like those glyphies are cutting up your workspace, Brad may need to unload a couple. I will, you know I will. You know I will unload. 25% off FC paper products, is that Frank and Kristoff, I'm assuming. I've used Midori before, Elemental Uranium. I'm trying to think of something cool like that. I'm a little bit on an island in that I like the Lamy notebooks. I think it's a cool format and it's pretty good for fountain pens and maybe that's not gonna be like a superstar. It's not gonna be like Midori for fountain pens. I like the Lamy notebooks. Uh, yeah, the Lockbee is the new name for Bond Travel Gear. Yeah, people people don't seem to like the paper in the Lamy. I had no problem with it. Like, I kind of like it. I, It's just something weird and different, like if you haven't tried. Sort of using the Midori 5-year journal right now. Okay, so Sarah, I'm going to ask you to stack your journals right now and how many active ones do you have? You have the Lamy? Yeah. That's what I'm also trying to think for you, knowing that you've probably got everything. So, like, Stayology is probably a good choice. So, people, so I'm gonna, I'm calling out Sarah here. Cause Sarah's saying, I have a Midori five year journal right now, but I'm not doing a very good job at it. I also know how much Sarah writes. So, I wanna know how many other notebooks Sarah has actually active right now. <laughs> because she will get a pass on that. Beauty, beauty of the five year 12 notebooks in use. There we go, chat. There we go. 12 active notebooks but can't quite get the five year rolling. There you go. That's our inside, that's our knowledge sink right there, chat. <laughs> I knew where I was coming from with that question, chat. <laughs> I like the paper in the Lamy and enjoy the layout, but it's kind of a one-off. Don't think it'll be used consistently in my workflow. I think that's completely fair. Like, I don't want more of it necessarily, right? I don't need a stack of the Lamy notebooks. See you, Patrick. But I think, like, I enjoyed it. Like, I would use it. The layout, I think, would for me, to, for it to be perfect, I would need different spacing. But uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of cool. So, yeah, Stayology. I'm trying to think of something different. Yeah, the paper for fountain pens doesn't seem to be making much right now. Hang on. Oh, Spam Risk. There's another band name. There's got to be a band called Spam Risk by now, right? So, yeah, okay. Do we need to revisit this sticker thing? I don't feel that we do. Like, I feel like I've said my piece yesterday on stream and today on the show. I don't know what new information is going to be out there on this sticker thing that we need even need to discuss. Spam or CVS. <laughs> Why do people seem so stuck on the ideas of stickers? I think just to get under my skin. To be obstinate. And I keep giving it airtime. Does anyone put stickers on a pen? I mean, I would. Like, I haven't, but I would. Stayology is great, but it can feather a bit. I don't think anyone cares about stickers as much as they care about making Tony bad. But yeah, he's probably just trolling us, too. I don't believe him. I put a pen sticker on my roller skate helmet. Hell yeah. I put stickers on everything. The only reason stickers aren't on my Masubi is because the fabric's just not going to work for it. Like my Midori that I used before, stickers. Stickers all on it. I should actually probably put some stickers in the inside. Like I put the stamp here. It could, I could probably use some stickers on the inside. Put my Pixel Sheba sticker on mine. Nice. Those are my favorite stickers. Susan did such a good job with those. I love that art. 
Oh, we have photo conversation. We'll discuss it linked on Monday. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking to Tony for friend of the show. <laughs> Someone needs to make tiny stickers size for pens. That sounds like an Angela project. Sticker tiny sticker sheet. If Angela makes a tiny sticker sheet for pen stickers, I will stick them on my pen. That is different than the stickers that come with the pens. Me to kerthunk your latest notebook. What kind of kerthunker do you have, Alan? What's what's on the stamp? Getting iron iron on patches for your pens. That might be a bridge too far. I don't know if I want to get heat near some of these. <laughs> there are companies that put maquille stickers on pens. Return address with a pirate ship. Oh, you sent me one of those. I'm pretty sure. I think I've. Yes. I feel like I've seen that. I thought it was cool. Maybe. You sure you did? I think you did. Like, this year. Like, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I think. <clears throat> sort of related. What do you do when reaching the last few pages of the notebook? I get anxious to use a notebook. Then I feel guilty for not using up all the pages. So what I do... But I'm I'm new to using an entire notebook, right? That's my new thing, and I've done it one, I'm successful once, and I'm proud of that success. So when you get to the last few pages, I get out the new notebook and sit it there on my desk. I sit this notebook where I can see it and know that I cannot use this notebook until that other one is finished to the last page. That's what I did this time. Because you get down to like three, four, five pages left. You're like, this thing is done. Do I really need to? And I was like, no, I'm going to finish this notebook. This is the conversation I had with myself. So I went and got this one. And I would fondle. I was like, ooh, that's nice paper. Look at this, nice. And I would sit it there knowing that I could not write word one in here until every page of that Midori was done. And I, I did it. And I just like, you know, whatever my normal writing. I think the last page... I think the last page I did like a big drawing, like, like the end type of thing. Just like, I'm just, okay, I'm not going to just write this right to the end. Like I might've waste, wasted a page or two. <laughs> so yeah, like I, that's what, I, that's how I did it. And it worked. I didn't, I didn't put one drop of ink. I didn't even put my name in this notebook um, and the start date until that one was finished but i took this one out and and teased myself now i am gonna say i have been horrible at using this I, something's got to change with my notebook usage i was really good on my last notebook i am doing really bad with this notebook like i'm just not doing enough i bet i haven't filled 30 pages in this book and this is a big book and this started in january so that's bad I'm just writing things elsewhere, which is not good. That was not the point of this. So, but I see I carry it around with me all the time. This is my catch-all journal. Yep, every I think I went going with everything journal. Yeah, it's great. I love looking at it. Like I was like, oh, I did good there, and then don't use it. It it kind of bugs me sometimes. But yeah, it also doesn't help that I write small. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a little bit longer. <laughs> so, I do keep, do y'all, I always keep the uh, um, blotting paper in there just to go over my hand when I write. Right, do y'all do that? Keep sheets of, each notebook I have like a blotting page and usually like one or two other just like loose pages to keep, um, like a random ink test or sample or to put my hand on when I write because I don't like the feeling of this the uh, it changes the paper um, you know like the oils on your hand change the paper format especially for like a fountain pen change how the paper feels on there do y'all experience that I do my Midori was very bad about that like even the Midori when I write I don't know how I can show you all this let's see if I can show you all this on here I'll show you how I write and why it's a challenge. Blotting paper is part of the packaging. You should throw it out. I still, my, um, 
I have a cross field one, right? That's the one I think that people that you're referring to. And it's turned into like when you crumple up when you were a kid and you crumpled up crappy paper over and over again until you made it like Kleenex consistency. That's where that blot, that piece of blotting paper is at right now. Oh, it's a stick toner who's being sticker smart ass. Ah, oh, man, I fell for it. Makes sense now. Damn it. I thought he was being real. Why would I think that for a second? Terrible idea by me. Why do I even listen? So the way I'll use my notebook, and I caught this in the Midori, and I'd never experienced this before. So what I'll do is when I'm writing, I put my fingers right here. So all my, my fingers will run down. I'm doing this, then they run down this whole page like this. And then I would write in these areas right here, and it would just be skippy and messy. So, like, I had to learn to put my, um, Leslie Seacher, thank you for the follow, appreciate you. I had to learn to, like, just put my hand on the blotting paper and use it that way. Because it does, like on this bank, pe bank paper and the Midori paper, it does absorb it. Um, so, yeah, I would catch myself as I go down, and then these, line, these starts of each line would be would perform differently than once I got over to this part of the page. So I learned that about myself as I was doing this. Rhodia is classic for hand oil. I guess I just use the Rhodia pad, so I don't really notice it as much. I'm just ripping off the sheets and being done with it and just not being consistent with it. I guess I've never done much long form writing on Rhodia, but I've always used it for product reviews and for testing. That's a great question, Pat. Um, I haven't emailed them yet. I, I can find out. I will find out, though. They said they were trying. I just let me check and see if I've gotten a new email. Oh, Alan, I just got your email. Thank you. I do appreciate when you send me those things. But no, no more on email. But I will check in with them. Um because they're actively working on it. So I should be able to get an answer like if if they can at least get them, at least if we know that they're coming or not. And I haven't tested them yet. This is where I get in trouble with my fountain pens, right? I just did all this stuff to get down to one pen. Now I need to test this glyphy paper that's sitting right here to see if it's the same. I gotta ink up all the pens, right? So by Monday, I'll have a good five or six pens inked up because I need to test them. One pen. I mean, I use, but see, but it's because I use gel pens and pencils all the time. So I'm okay. I, I would love to just have one fountain pen inked up at a time because I use so many other pens. Like, I'm really loving this Secure we unboxed yesterday. I used this all day yesterday, all yesterday afternoon. 15, only 15, and you feel you're doing okay, that, I wouldn't come close to that level. Like once I get to like seven or eight, that's when I start thinking about them too much. Separate the testing pins from the I am using this pin. I've tried. Like I'll keep a Sinclair with the three slots with the pin, my pins, the I'm using pins, and then keep a Brass Town with the I'm testing pins. But even just this past while I was cleaning, like all that stuff was like mixed and matched. So I need to kind of keep that going. He keeps taunting us with that secure pen that's out of stock. So be careful with this pen. Be careful. But I'm going to use it to see how fast this refill goes out. What did you think of the Yoseka Sailor pen? Perfect. I think it's great. Pre-pandemic, I realized I was inking up pens just to take to pen club meetings. Yeah. So the problem, back to your thing, Alan, keep the personal pens away from the testing pens. The testing pens don't get used enough. Is the problem I run into. Sometimes. Because I want to use the personal pens. So then uh, I end up with a bunch of... What I need to do is not fill them as much. Was probably how I do See how much sway you have on us? You're the paper, only one who's used this paper. Somebody bought some of the croquis pads from Jet Pens, I think. <laughs> I have too many pens inked right now, and apparently I've ordered more. That's funny. 
get a kid into robotics and have them build paper testing robots to use the pens. So my son is already into robotics. His new thing is Rubik's cubes now though. He's got all these different Rubik's cubes. I'm very curious to see you try the Zebra F301. I swear I've, I've reviewed one of the old models. I gotta get the new one though. Ru Zebra's made a few new store models. Um, you ordered a pad of the 60 GSM cream. Good. I would like to let me know when you, when you, um, get it in and get to test it out just to see, like, I don't want to see, I want to see if I'm an outlier, right? You never know when you're kind of the only one testing it. Hi, could this harassa be, be hacked to fit the craft lab? This is the craft lab pin. So this is the craft lab refill. We played a bit in that sheen. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Like, I can see how, like, people may not like the texture, but, like, it's surprisingly good for fountain pens. Like, that's what threw me off. Colorverse Pillars of Creation. Oh, you have those? I, I still haven't bought any of those. Those look good. I've got a friend who's really into Rubik's Cube's it, and her and her husband's honeymoon was to a cubing competition in Paris. Nice. Yeah, my son is just eat up with the Rubik's Cube stuff right now. Oh, wait, Dr. Doomscroller. I might have your question backwards. Are you talking about this Sarasa? Or like a Sarasa? Uh, this is a secure. Are you talking about the Sarasa, like the Zebra Sarasas with the Secura Craft Lab refill? Yeah, I think I have all the documents to get my real ID. What's the real ID? Is that a, one of those travel IDs? Well, good. I definitely want to hear more about the um, the Cream 60 GSM croquis. So sad. Pillars is a small bottle. That is a challenge. Stilo a Stile. I've used Stilo and Stile before. So I, I valid, I, that's a valid uh, retailer. You'll need a real ID this October to fly domestically. Even if I'm already, if you know, if I already have the, um, the pre-check stuff. I'm not familiar. How am I not familiar with this? Real ID or passport? Maybe I just said I have my passport, so forget it. But I should probably do the real ID. Okay. Thank you. I was not really up to speed on that. Interesting. How do I not know this? I'm usually up to speed on that kind of stuff. Maybe I just read it with the said you could use your passport and I'm like, oh, I'm covered. So that's probably why I didn't pay much attention to it. Bought the Stilo, a Stile Opus 88 limited edition. What was that? Do you have a link to that one? I think I saw it. I think we talked about it before, right? Many states do comply. Okay, I'll, I'll look into it. Georgia started offering. Georgia started offering in 2012, so I wonder if it's just part of my driver's license slash state issue ID. I don't have my thing on it. So maybe maybe that's it too? Maybe that's why I'm not totally up to speed. All right, let's look at this pen. I feel like we looked at this one before. Yeah, I thought it was green. This is pretty cool. That's a really cool swirl. It looks really good. Whoops. I don't need that. Yeah, I like that like that a lot very nice you'll know if your license has a star on it i bet you i have it because i've gotten my license done in the past if georgia's had it since 2012 i've had my uh, license renewed like in the past three years or so y'all are gonna make me go check my license aren't you Fig boot. Oh, I did see. Uh, I did see the uh, Instagram picture. So, Instagram is being a real pita cross-linking to Twitter and stuff. So I'm gonna stop cross-posting. 
Twitter already kind of like low ranked. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, UHF. Twitter already low ranks any link, any cross links in to Twitter. And now Instagram has just like locked out all of the images. Like I'm getting emails about this. I just need to stop doing it. All right, I'm going to check my license. You also can't smile with your teeth in the photo. I had to take off my glasses, which I was shocked. I was surprised I had to take off my glasses. All right, my, my, I'm going to get my driver's license because now I'm curious. It's right around the corner. I will not show you though. All right, I have the gold star. I thought I had that gold star on there. No hats, glasses, or teeth, is that the rule? So yeah, no hat, glasses, or teeth in this picture. I'm like. All right, gold star it is, and a peach. I went out there, poor Toby, he's so, t he's so worn out. He was busy borking at the roof guys this morning. He is now just balled up in a tire. <laughs> uh, you don't have a uh, gold top mountain top queen directory or however that goes that's the one i get in my head i don't know if that's the real words though but if you know that song then you know this song yeah i used to take passport photos more my job is a real pain in the butt yeah so you look like in your picture you're either really mad or really touched and trying not to cry yeah who knows no no legal id pictures are ever good is there is has one ever existed in our lifetime <clears throat> yeah i had to get a passport when we went to mike's wedding a few years ago uh, me and my wife. I had one when I was younger, like in my 20s, and then I never had a need for one until recently. Was that 2017? Something like that. What do they last? 10 years, I think. I need to look when my other. Um, my TSA. I need one for Japan next year. Yes, I'm covered. Me and Mike were actually talking about that today. We need to start planning on that. How long does TSA pre-check last for? Like, I don't think I'm flying this year, but it might be a good time to renew it. All right, what else? What other stuff do we need to talk about? They last 10 years if you're over 16. Pre-check is five. I bet my pre-check is up during this pandemic or next year when i was traveling to pen shows like i knew i wanted to get the tsa pre stuff <clears throat> we need oh thank you alan we need to talk about three millimeter pokes spoke pencil yes so the thing about the three millimeter we will continue to make but it comes with a different a little bit different mechanics a little bit different sleeve, a little bit different nose cone. So we just have to, they don't, we don't do them as often as the 0.5s. You can be my bag handler in Japan. I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna have to do the empty suitcase thing. I'm gonna have to pack the small suitcase with my clothes inside the large suitcase that's empty to come back with two suitcases. That's gonna have to be the play, I think. Good thing you got your pre-check in January 2020. <laughs> Rip. That is not good. Spoke retractable um, on the drawing board. So to answer your question, Alan, the, the Spoke Model 5 definitively will have more 0.3 tip sizes. The other pin models, I cannot say definitively. 
mostly because I don't know for sure. Um, will you be a personal shopper for us and take orders to bring back? <laughs> yeah, I'll start my own right, Brad Rabbit while I'm over there. I'll be a roadie for you. I've done it for the Ramones for a day. I would be way easier. So any plans for a cap spoke pencil? I'm not going to say no. So we're going to leave it at that. Any ETA on the spoke five? Um, we just re upped some of the point fives. I would wait. If you want a three, I would think pretty soon. Actually, Brian just shipped me a box. Let me go. Let me go see if I have any point threes in this box. I don't know what he sent me other than lime green fountain pen parts. You should be happy with that answer, Evan. I don't know that it's going to be like carry. I don't know if it'll even happen. It's not going to look like that, but we're, we're, we're toying with things. And that's one of them. Ooh, get composted. That's rough. All right, let me go. Let me go get this box. Oh, do I have it right here? What is this? Hey, look. It's right here. Lime green has been a popular add on color for icon inserts. Like a lot of people will order their pen and their pen color and then add on lime green or orange parts. Thank you, even supposing. Good to see you too. I need to I need to unbox these off stream because I don't know what what they are. Alright, so this is all my That's all my green pen parts, because we're back ordered on green pen parts. So those are icon sleeves and grip sections. Um, is Spoke Design ever going to do a lead holder? We've talked about it. I would like it. Uniball One won a design award. Let me see this. Nice. I got to review that. It's been sitting here. Such a cool pen. Very cool. All right. Spoke in the wild pics that everyone's posting looks so good. I, I, I love them. All right. I, I don't know what's in these, so I'm going to... Um, I'm curious now if there are any icon color combos that only one person in the world is rocking with 256 permutations. It feels possible. It does feel possible. Um... Um, no spoke threes, spoke five, three millimeter, Alan. I'll find out though. It's got to be soon. Oh, I lied. Hang on, what's this? Okay, yeah, definitely none. I gotta open, I'm gonna, I, I have stuff for me that I can't show you. I'm gonna open it though. Oh no, this is patent post pens. Nice. So Brian did the patent post Kickstarter. So this is for like fridge magnet pens. Where'd it go? I'll have to look at it. We can look at that uh, later. So no model 5.3 millimeters. Sorry, always a tease. You'll be all right. I have a couple uni balling ball pens in there. Nice, not as nice as my spoke pen. Oh, that's very nice. Still want a clear acrylic icon insert to eyedropper. That's something we'd have to play around with. What about a spoke icon with the spokes on the cap as well? Only ask because my mind thinks the spoke side is the top side. That's true. I haven't thought about that, like, to where the entire thing would be. 
I think the problem with the icon is the barrel section sleeved. And I think that would be too big of a challenge. You run into different issues in the cap because things are moving around there. There's angles in there that are like getting towards tapers. And you got to give above the threads, below the taper, inside the grip. I think there's two... I think there's too much going on and it in the end it wouldn't be a visual match for the barrel is my guess like you would end up with something so small on the cap section that I don't think it would ever be a match so I don't know. Any chance you'd eventually do a black finial for the black icon? That's not a bad idea. That would, that's certainly something we consider. That makes a lot of sense, Aurelius. That makes a lot of sense. Received my spoke, first spoke pin this week, refraction gray. I don't understand how this color is not sold out. Oh, it's it's sold out, I think. I This is my spoke pin. I use the... Um, I use the silver crush. I want the I want the refraction, but I can't justify it because it's too close to this one. Like I can't I'm not going to take one of those when I have this one. The refraction came out awesome. Brookstone's new IG live events is dangerous to my bank account. I may have just decided to commission a custom Marushi Vertex with the rod. And, oh, nice. Then Brooks would say they're working correctly as intended want a red finial on the black icon the black one would be a cool one to match some colors with oh sure thing neighbor villain this is stuff we think about a lot right it's the two of us we can like monkey around and kind of mess around with this stuff and like that's like the thought process that goes in things just on the front end maybe it could work maybe it not but like having built these going through like the builds of this like you start to think about like what will work, what or not. Oh, Kate, I got, I saved this so I could test. I found this the other day. So I have a full length Edel, full length Edelstein. Um, do you, I cleaned all my spoke pins. Let me go get one and I'll test it. Like I, I did this cause I remember us talking about it. So this is the Pelican and this should be the same full length. Technically they should have been. But you never know, because our um, the tolerance there is not big, right? Like you have, I bet, I guarantee you've run into international converters that don't fit in the same pins, like I have, right? Even though technically they should, there's just something off about them that causes them to not go. Let me go grab that, because I did this, I did save that. Oh, great, Kate. Thanks a lot. We're going to have like two pens inked up now. Great. Thanks for nothing. Oh, you said it. <laughs> I'm not trying to mess up your one, one pen ink goal. I feel like I have to fully engage the, um, the cartridge. This is definitely going to fit, though. Let me throw this over here. I mean... I wasn't smart enough to bring back a, a a converter. That's way smaller than any converter, right? That's like, it seems. So let's look. I'm almost certain this is gonna fit. Yep. 
So there you go. Like I don't even have to screw it. I don't even I, I cannot ink this pen up because the amount that's sticking out influence our hands. The amount that's sticking out is way deeper than what's in here. Right? So it's gonna fit with the like I can I bet I can screw this down without engaging it. So yeah. There you go. Easy peasy. This one is smooth. We're working on some textured ones. We're working on textured grips and uh, non-concave grips and different material grips right now. I didn't. I didn't have to ink it up, so we're safe. Knurled, knurled grip, possibly. We got to test all this stuff out. We would like to. It doesn't mean it's going to work, right? We're trying. The sleeve is purple. So the exterior is purple. The interior is silver. So that's what it looks like disassembled. So the cutouts are here in the pen, but because it's silver, it makes it look like it's the cutouts. I love the present concave grip. Me too. That's why we designed it that way. <laughs> Cause that's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people will find them too smooth, but we'll, we're going to have options for that. So that will be coming at some point. So yeah, they do get a little slick. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of texture. Especially if you have, if you have dry hands, it's definitely gonna be slick. <laughs> Damascus or I don't even know what Mocha Magane is. Uh, neither. Is there any way to make an acrylic insert to be able to eyedropper the pen? That's what Alan wants. I don't know. I think that's the best answer I can give right now is I, I, I genuinely don't know. Do you know what the clearance for the sleeve is on the inside in case um, we can uh, we can get you those measurements. I don't know them off the top of my head if you want to email us. Yeah, if you have dry hands, like it's it's definitely slick. Like some people don't like the slickness of it. You said show them closer, Naper villain, closer up. Oh, stop showing it! Stop showing it! I got gotcha. you! I got gotcha. you! Yeah, Lamy 2K. I don't think this is as slick as that, but like it's the same concept, right? So I would wait until we get a more textured grip if you're interested in that, because you wouldn't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't think like if you have dry hands, like my my hands are like tacky right now, so it's never been like an issue. But I can see when I grab it sometimes, like when I'm just just getting to the pen, like for the first time, I was like, it's pretty slick. Like I totally get that. Purple with cyan is such is a good look, yeah. If I didn't have the cyan pen, I would have probably built the purple one with the cyan insert. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit. The red and silver and a friend. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling lunch in my future. Then I have I have Buku shipping to do. Chat. I have lime green pens on back order because I haven't had parts. I have a bunch of fodder stacks sold, which was awesome. Thank y'all. What is for lunch? Probably just a ham sandwich or something. I've got leftover fish for fish tacos tonight. I'm trying not to eat that for lunch. So we're just gonna do basics for lunch and then eat a little bit better for dinner the plan um 
Is that it today? Feels like it. Cool. I like jumping on after these podcasts. It takes me a minute to like recoup after the podcast and figure out like, oh, I know how we can finish. Giveaway. I didn't give anything away. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all need to yell at me. If I ever threaten to get off here and not give something away, tell me. Happy to ship me some ribs. I could use them today. I am really hungry. Um, I think we'll just do one giveaway today because I'm starving. I need to go go eat. But yeah, what is wrong with y'all? Oh, absolutely even supposing. It's fun. I like doing it. I'm glad y'all like it too. We certainly have fun. All right. Um, trying to think. I know you come for you don't come for the gifts, but you know what? I need to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> April, I shipped that, and congrats on the hundredth episode of the Stationary Cafe. So your color ring has shipped. Start a lunch stream? No, you'll watch me eat. I will not watch me eat. No one wants a part of that. Um, I'm trying to think about what what I'm gonna reach for. I don't wanna I don't wanna be predisposed to something particular. So I did big notebook, small note. Let's do, we'll go on the A5. Oh, you did not miss any giveaways today, Greg. I'm gonna go in the A5 shelf and see what we got. Oh, we'll do this. Maybe Thunder Viking will win. This is a good one. Is Thunder Viking still here? This would be awesome if Thunder Viking won. Stayology Editor Series 365. Oh yeah, no one wants to watch me eat. You don't want that stream. So it's like not dated, right? Like a planner, but it's got on the top line, it's got like a little circle, like a thing you can fill in. You like your cabinet back there? So that's new, we relocated. So now I can keep all the giveaway goodies in the cabinet and have a little bit more depth in this in the, in the stream. Four millimeter thin gray grid. So yeah, it's just at the top, it's got a day, week and month thing you can just highlight, but you can ignore it too. It's the frozen closet of happiness. It's the ice box of happiness. Yes. So, all right. Where are you at, Thunder Viking? He must not be here. He must have left. This is his chance. All right. We're going to give this away today. Then it's going to be a wrap. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> My last one yesterday was washy and stuff. That was a good one. I enjoyed that. I, oh yeah, all that's still in here for me to give away. Give that ice box away? No. Um. All right. I really wish they'd call it something besides stology, though. It's hard to say. Stay. I want to call it stayology. Man. Stology. All right. Open giveaway. All right. A giveaway for this A five big stayology notebook man thunder viking he's gonna be mad he's actually out ordering he's probably on some other website right now ordering a stayology notebook when he could get one here for free missing out with minimal details this simple styled notebook is suitable for the unique daily needs of all kinds of users for a notebook with a total of 368 pages, it is sleek and easy to carry because of its thin paper. I thought you should know that, chat. That is in four different languages, only one of which I can read. I'm not going to pretend to do the other ones. So we got Japanese, German, and French. I could, I could kind of do some of the French. Avec son minimum de détail, c'est carnet simple Convient au besoin quotidiens propre à tous les utilisateurs. Well, I just choked on myself. Pour un carnet de 
I don't, I'm not I'm not going to pretend to I know how to do 368 in French. 368 page au total. Il est élégant et est facile à transporter grâce à son papier mince. That was that was pretty painful. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry to our uh, French and uh, Canadian friends there. My apologies. But I had to kill two minutes. I'm not going to attempt German. All right, there we go. Entries have stopped. I am labeling this so I can pick a winner and write it on here. All right, pick a winner. UHF 57. First time? Maybe first time winner UHF fifty seven. Not first time winner. I know that. No way, way first time. Nice, nice. I hope Thunder Viking comes back now. That would be the best part. <laughs> UHF, email me hello at panic com with your shipping address. All right, chat. Tomorrow, what are we doing? We're building Lego tomorrow during stream time. So we're not going to stream until 1 p.m. ish. 1 p.m. ish. Journal stream tomorrow? We could journal stream tomorrow. I don't know that I have any plans for tomorrow. I'm going to be exhausted tomorrow after building Legos for like three hours. I'm on the build this year. I'm on the build side of the table. Um... So I'm going to be pretty tired tomorrow afternoon. So maybe we just journal and we say happy birthday to Slumberland Studio tomorrow. Don't not today. Wait till tomorrow. Journal about your build experience. So yeah, bring your journaling stuff tomorrow. Maybe we'll just do some writing. Maybe I'll find out that music that I keep threatening. I'm going to find out for the background. So yeah, we're not going to do, um, I'm building Lego tomorrow with Mike. And that's going to take us a while. All right. So stay tuned. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll post it there or turn your alerts on on the Twitch bot. It'll uh, pop up there when I go live, but it'll be sometime in the afternoon, Eastern time, Eastern time afternoon. So there you go. That's it for today. Uh, another hat stream probably tomorrow because I'm going to have headphones on my hair for three hours. We're, we're not going to we're not going to display the hair after that. So. All right. Thank you all. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Fun times. We'll see you. Bye.